Okay, let's do some math for fun. Here I have another classic company tool question for you guys based on this picture. Last time I asked you guys, how many rectangles do we have on this 8x8 chessboard, right? This time, we are going to imagine that this right here is the city, and you can imagine this right here are just like buildings, and we have blocks. And we have two people. I will just call the first person to be Steve, and he is right here. And then I will call the other person. Of course, she will have to be Carol, and she is right there. Steve and Carol, they always go together. Anyway, the question is, we would like to find out how many ways are there for Steve to go from this point to see Carol, which is right here. And the deal is that he can only go up or go to the right. Okay, so of course, he doesn't want to go back down because that will take additional time. And because of that, sometimes this is also called the northeast path if you have a situation like this. And this is also the shortest pathway. And let me just demonstrate. For example, he can just go up all the way and then go to the right all the way. That's the first way, right? And then maybe he could have gone all the way to the right first and then go all the way up. That's the second way. Well, maybe there's a small accident. In that case, uh, he has to avoid this point. So that means he has to go up to here and then go up and then go to the right and then go up, right? That would be an alternative. So i just show you guys three ways to do that. But do you know the way? Please pause the video and try this first. Okay, hopefully you guys all have a chance to try it. And this right here, in fact, is a much bigger answer compared to the question that we did last time with rectangles, right? The answer to this is 12,870 ways. Do you know the way? Anyway, let's see how we are going to figure this out. Maybe you guys use the strategy I showed you guys last time where you consider small cases first, okay? So when we have just a one-by-one -one situation where Steve is right here and Carol is right here on the other end of the diagonal, you remember, we cannot just travel diagonally because we are in a city. These right here are buildings. So based on this, the first way is just this and then the second way is just that. So we have two ways, right? Well. The next case is that we have a two by two situation where Steve is right here and Carol is right here. And you may just want to count, right? So go up like this. This is the first way, second way, and then the third way, and then the fourth way, and the fifth way, and sixth way, and so on. But let me tell you, if you just look at the numbers right there, it's pretty hard to find a nice pattern unlike last time. So in this situation, we are really going to think with the component torque skill, right? This is one thing that we may try. Let's just draw some ways. And maybe he wants to go like this. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is really naive, right? Just go all the way to the right and then go all the way up. One, two. And of course, once we are right here, we are not going to travel to the west, right? We are not going to move backwards. So just all the way, all the way up. And you see that we will have to move to the right eight times and then go up also eight times. All right, maybe let's do another one as well. And this time I'm just going to be creative. So the second way is that maybe he goes up first, so this is one, two, and then he moves to the right, I say one, two, three, four, like this. And then he goes up, so one, and then goes to the right, one, two, like this. And then I say one, two, three, four, five. And then in the end, once we are here, it's one, two. Okay, that's another way, of course. And now let's see what is the connection between this and that. Notice that the connection between the first way I just drew and then the second way that I had is that both of them, we have to make a total of eight moves to the right and then eight moves up, right? See, we have to have eight of these red arrows and then eight of these blue arrows for both of them. But it just doesn't really matter where did they happen, right? When did they happen? And that's all together, we have to travel 16 blocks, so either up or to the right. Uh, I would just call them to be moves. So let me just put this down first for you guys. Notice that we have to make a total of 16 moves. And then among these 16 moves, we have eight of them are being to the right. So I will just put down eight right. And then we also have to have eight of them being up. Hmm. So you can just imagine that 
you have to have a total of 16 comments and then eight of them have to be to the right and eight of them have to be up and that's the deal this is where the component tour comes in i will just tell you guys how to do it well let me just show you guys the picture first with 16 moves so one two 16 so we have 16 moves right these are just like the slots for the uh moves for the comments and i want to just figure out when do i want to move to the right i just have to choose eight of them and the rest will be just to the up either right or up right and that's exactly 16 right choose eight and that's it and of course this is a pretty big number you can just use a calculator uh, to figure it out and if you work that out you get this number and that's exactly how we figured that out so let me demonstrate uh, this right here so once again we have to have a total of 16 comments or 16 moves eight of them have to be the right let's see based on this the first move was up the second move was up right but the third fourth fifth and sixth so it's right here we choose this right here was right 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 and then this one was up for the next move and then the next two moves are to the right so it's right and right you see among 16 moves we choose eight of them to be the right so we have this right here and then the last two rights are at the end of the ways so this is just eight moves among the 16 moves and uh, we assign it to be the right and in fact as you see this is enough because once you choose this eight spots to be moving to the right the rest have to be what ups of course so the rest have to be up so the moment you figure this out the rest have to be up so you don't have to do anything else and this right here is it